Welcome back to another week of Model Horse Judging Clinic. This week we have Thoroughbred Original Finish Plastic Halter, and this week we are judging them on collectability. Collectability is placed on rarity, age, condition, desirability, and overall impression. This is actually a fairly tight class with a few small details of note. One thing that I would like to see that I haven't set up in this particular video is the actual documentation that you place with the horses. Generally for collectability classes, documentation is required, even if it's just a few notes on a 3x5 card, but the judge needs to know why this particular horse is placed in a collectability class. Even if it's double judged for breed, you will need to add the actual reasons for collectability. Since this is a video, I will explain the reasons that I have placed the class this way and why it could be placed one way or another based on a few small details that might not be evident at first choice. So in this case, first place is Paparazzi, the Palomino Lonesome Glory. Paparazzi was a 2008 Velvet Rope event horse. There was only 200 made. This was a Briar event where you had to enter a drawing to be able to come and attend. There were only 200 of this horse made, so that is a small number. The Lonesome Glory is a popular mold, and the Palomino color is very attractive, and it's not particularly evident on video, but he has nice, subtle dappling. The dappling in Briar Horses can be attractive or range the gamut to a little too stand out. This is a nice example of a good Briar dappling. What I would like to see with this actual horse in an actual show would be a few pieces of actual ephemera from the event, either the tickets or the bag or the actual pieces of paper that you got with the horse. Those things would add to the collectability of this horse. If you plopped him on a table with a card that said thoroughbred, uh, I would not place him because he didn't have his collectability documentation. So in this case, I'm going to say he had his documentation and place him first, but if he did not, this, play, this class could be judged quite differently. So on to my second placing. This is a regular run Man o War. Now the regular run Man o War classic ran from 1975 to 1990, so they had a large uh, number of years that they were produced. This one is in excellent condition and the detail that places him second is the fact that he is exceptionally early in the run. You can't see it in the video but he does have a broken stripe on his face and he has no mold stamp indicating that he was extremely early in the run. Again I would expect this to be documented in a card on the table when I was judging this horse if that was present. I would definitely place this horse high in the class because those are extremely difficult to come by. However, if those were not present or if the horse was in poor condition, he could be placed down for those reasons. In third place is the stable mate, Thoroughbred Mare. She is a regular run from 1975 to 1987. She is quite popular because she is considered the first generation sculpted by Maureen Love. She is in good condition with average detailing on her paint job and excellent detailing on her actual molding. She still has sharpness to her mane and tail and muscling. However, she is still a regular run stable mate, was produced for a lot of years. If she did not have the Briar mold stamp on her belly, she would place much higher because that was an extremely early horse that not a lot of them were made. They were the very first issue in 1975. But in this, ex this particular example, I placed her third because she's not got that detail, so she could have been produced just about anywhere in the run. She has kind of average detailing of her paint job, but she has excellent mold detailing. Um, and she is a desirable mold because she was sculpted by Maureen Love and is a first generation stable mate. In fourth place, I placed Frankel. This is the Bay Smarty Jones mold produced as a regular run from 2014 to 2015. He is quite pretty, 
nice paint job. However, he was a regular run fairly recent. So there are still floating around in the discount stores and in retail venues. He has very nice paint, very nice sculpting, but he is very much more commonly available than the other horses for the reasons that I have stated. So he is a fairly solid fourth place horse in collectability. So as I said, there are a few details that could change the placings of this class, but with proper documentation and proper um, little added things for the judge to go off of, this class would be placed first place paparazzi, second place Manowar classic, third place thoroughbred mare stablemate, fourth place Frankel regular run. Hope you enjoyed that. Join me again next week. I'll pick another class of horses, leave any comments below or questions, and let me know what you thought. Thank you very much.